Hey, Ryan, um, I know you guys pride yourself in getting in the red zone and actually getting in the end zone there. And I know earlier on that wasn't happening. Uh, what, what was going on there that you had to settle for those field goals early? No, we didn't make some plays and, and they were playing good defense. I think um, we'll go back and look at this tape and, and have a lot of things to clean up. I know I have some things to clean up. Um, but yeah, we, we get down there, we're moving the ball effectively pretty much the whole game, but we stalled out multiple times, either in the fringe or, or down in the red zone. And, you know, moving forward, we're going to we're gonna have to convert those things to, uh, to touchdowns. Uh, you know, we talk about it every week. It's important to us to, to score touchdowns when we get down uh, in the red zone. And today we didn't do it. And we're fortunate enough to come out here with the win, um, you know, not being able to score touchdowns. So definitely be a, an emphasis for us moving forward. TD. Yeah, Ryan, when you look at uh, playing in, in the dome without fans, like how, how does that affect you, especially in the huddle? Do you find yourself having to change your pitch or anything like that, you know, to make sure you're not too loud with the plays? Yeah, we kind of figured that out through – you know, not just in the dome, but, you know, no fans, period. You know, if you're too loud, you know, the other team can definitely hear you. So definitely have to keep that in, in consideration when we're huddling. You know, we'll tighten the huddle up, bend down a little bit, and, and make sure we're, we're not, I'm not talking too loud. John Glennon. Hey, Ryan. Uh, I think, you know, three game-winning drives for you and the team in, in three weeks. Um, I, I think, uh, you know, Pat O'Hara uh, made the mention earlier about you guys almost it's almost like fun for you guys to do this at the end of games you know can you take us through that uh, the another game winning drive there and and uh you know what was going on with uh, with you and and with the offense during that drive yeah we have a lot of confidence obviously in that situation three weeks in a row so you know we've got a lot of reps at it you know, in in practice and, and now in games as well so there's a lot of confidence there obviously we'd like to be able to, to put a lot more points up earlier in the game and not have to be in that situation, but proud of our guys and and our focus, our um, attention to detail in those in those tight moments that you know we believe in each other, we stick together, and, and just kind of keep fighting and found a way to uh, to get ourselves in field goal range there, and obviously Stephen with the, with the big kick there won it. Kyle. Kyle. Yeah, Ryan. What? Uh... What did, what did you see over the, the time period from the end of the Denver game until last week, even, even through this week, in terms of the way Steven went about his business? Uh, I don't know if he'd ever experienced – very few kickers ever have experienced the way he started that Denver game, certainly not a, a guy like him. Um, I was just curious how you, how you, what you witnessed and how he handled it. I say, I mean, he's a professional. He's been doing it a long time. I, mean, I don't think he's had a, had a run like that, but – He's special. He's mentally strong. Kickers have to be in order to be in this league. You have to be mentally strong and be able to bounce back, forget what just happened, and find a way to just make one kick at a time. And um, you know, I feel like obviously he's kicking, kicking very well right now. He's got a lot of confidence. We never lost confidence in him. You know, he made the game-winning kick at the end of that Denver game, uh, and he's just been steady, you know, ever since. So I know every time he steps on that field, that I have a lot of confidence he's gonna make the kick. Jim. Ron, I'm sorry I switched over late, but uh, I guess how do you keep from getting frustrated when you guys weren't able to close some drives off early, and how good does it feel to be able to get it done once again when it mattered most? Yeah, it's definitely frustrating. I mean, we pride ourselves on being able to, to you know, finish drives in the end zone. We talk about it all the time. It's an emphasis for us, and today we, we weren't executing well enough to do that. You know, we got to give credit to the defense, but you know, I feel like we have a lot of things that we can clean up offensively, so We'll go back, look at this tape, and, and really key on, on several things that we can clean up in order to finish those drives in the red zone. You know, tight game, you know, we really should have, shouldn't have been so tight if we executed like we should have you know, down in the red zone. And then at the end, you know, I'm proud of our guys. Maybe we just you know, kept battling. Even though things weren't going well, even though we're, we're settling for field goals, we just kept chipping away, chipping away, believing in each other. And, um, you know, we stepped on the field with, you know, a few minutes left, or three, three plus minutes left. Um, needing a field goal to go win. And, um, you know, there was no, no hesitation by anyone that had a lot of confidence that we were going to get it done, and we did exactly that. And you put the ball where it needed to be, but Khalif twice got open deep. How good of a job did he do to get open, and how big were those two plays? Yeah, they're huge. Obviously, the first one early in the game, uh, double move out on the outside, ends up getting behind the corner and um, made a huge play for us. And I kind of got us going early in the game, got us on the board. 
And then um, we really needed something to get going there in the second half. Uh, I think we were, we were down maybe two scores at the time, or I'd got it back to one score. Um, but we called his number again. He was able to uh, to win over the top and um, you know, come up, came up big for us, you know, just like he has multiple times in his time here. We still have a lot of questions left, so we're going to try and run through these gentry. Yeah, Ryan, as you look back over the, the first three weeks and, and the plays you guys have been able to make in crunch time, how much of this has come down to having a lot of guys back offensively, a lot of continuity with Arthur, with with everyone on offense, you know, especially with the way the preseason went? Yeah, it definitely helps to have you know, continuity. You know, like you said, a lot of guys back on offense. Or there was a lot of bank reps throughout the last year, really, you know, the course of last season and, and then this year. Um a lot, of, a lot of continuity, like you said, and, and familiarity with what we're doing, what we're trying to accomplish, and the guys doing it. So you know, it all helps. It all stacks together. And, and like you said, you know, we're able to, to have a lot of confidence in each other and go out and make plays. Joe? Brian, I know 3 knows is the bottom line, but just in terms of how this team has played overall, I mean, how close to or far from the way you guys want to play are you right now? You know, I think we have a lot of things to clean up. We flashed at times. We played really well at times, but it hasn't been consistent enough. Um, but we're uh, we're finding ways to win games. And at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to in the NFL is, is finding ways to win games, stack wins together. Um, but obviously, a lot of things that we can clean up continue growing and, and moving the needle in, in the right direction. You know, I'm proud of the way our guys battle. You know, there's no hesitation. There's no um, folding from our guys. We believe in each other. And... Um, We'll have a lot of confidence that we'll find a way to win. Three more, Corey. Hey, Ryan, I wanted to ask you about when you were down 24 to 12. It seemed like you guys really got back to pounding 22. Mike called it your bread and butter. Did, did that settle everything down? Yeah, we made some big, big plays there. You know, I think um, we started moving. We we're kind of wearing on throughout the game up front. You know, we kept, kept going back to the run. And, and, and just like last year, you know, you grind on teams as the game goes on. So, in that second half, we started hitting some, some more efficient runs, some bigger runs, getting first downs on the ground, and that was huge for us. That really got things moving for us, and we were able to hit some, some passes over the top off of that. Terry? Ron, what was the mindset like, especially when you're down 12 and not a lot of things had gone right up to that point for you guys, either offensively or defensively? I just make one play. I mean, I, I think – we have a lot of confidence. You know, things aren't going well. We weren't executing well, but we had a lot of confidence in each other. That make it one play at a time. You know, we'll just execute and focus on one play at a time. We'll stack those good plays together and, and bounce out of this thing. And you know, we did exactly that. Last one, Luke. Ryan, you've talked so much about the confidence you have, and, and you know, you all guys are always going to find a way, and you certainly have through the first three weeks. But what is it about the character? and the makeup of, of this team or really any team that lends you in that direction to being able to close it out when it matters? I think we believe in each other and we have that kind of undying belief that, that we're going to stick together and, and fight through it and, and somebody's going to make a play. So we step in that huddle and they can look every man in the eye and, and see the confidence that we have together. It gives you a lot of confidence stepping to the line of scrimmage knowing that you know, no matter where the defense dictates the ball should go, I have a lot of confidence throwing to them and, and guys are making plays.